Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and today I'm here with Michelle Pavoli from Ye Old Time Bakehouse. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. So tell me um, about everything. Like, what have we got here for one? Well, um, here we have my regular chocolate chip cookies and then I also make the chocolate chip cookies with walnuts. And here we have uh, gluten-free chocolate cupcakes with my own recipe frosting. Uh, it's the peanut butter buttercream. Mm -hmm. uh, all vegan, of course. And peanut butter in America, you guys are obsessed with peanut butter. Yes, <laughs> everybody loves peanut butter and everybody bugs me like, you need to have peanut butter stuff. And I am going to be working on peanut butter cookies as well. Mm -hmm. And then here I also decided... Um, I was getting asked a lot about gluten-free options, so mm -hmm. I decided to start making the gluten-free chocolate chip cookies as well. And I'm also going to expand my gluten-free options. So when you say gluten-free, what are you using? What sort of what sort of flours? Like uh, tapioca, oat, uh, quinoa. You know, it just depends on what I'm making. Mm -hmm. So, um, like for a biscuit, what would you use versus like a cupcake? Uh, well, a normal cupcake is like. Well, that's not gluten-free, uses, of course, wheat flour. Mm -hmm. But um, like tapioca, potato, quinoa, mm -hmm. things like that. In a regular biscuit, I would probably use more oats, like okay. oat flour. Because it holds it better or and versus the rising? Mm. Or is there a reason? Or? I don't think it rises better, mm -hmm. I, you know, because I use a ground flax seed a lot, like mm -hmm. in biscuits and things like that, to, to bind instead of mm -hmm. eggs. Mm -hmm. Um, it's just the, it, it, the texture is noticeably different. Okay. And that's what a lot of people fear about gluten-free. It's like, oh, it's dry, mm -hmm. it's the gritty, text, gritty mm -hmm. the texture is different. But you won't find that in my chocolate cupcakes. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I actually, um, when I was working at the hospital, I brought in my chocolate chip gluten-free cookies. Mm -hmm. And I set them out there and I didn't tell anybody what they were mm -hmm. and everybody I, they polished off two dozen <laughs> and I never told them until after mm -hmm. they're like oh my god those cookies were so good and I'm like you know they're vegan and gluten-free and they're like what yeah wow I'm like yeah that's good when people can't tell isn't it yeah mm. I mean obviously I can tell the difference and mm. if you're a real cookie connoisseur some will notice a little difference but mm -hmm. I, I was able to fool people cool so mm -hmm. I was very happy about that. And I thought once I was able to fool people, then I'm definitely going to put this on my site and mm -hmm. market it. Good. And what's your website? Uh, it's yeoldtimebakeshop.com, but it's, you know, it's spelled the old-fashioned way. Mm -hmm. um, um, what can people buy there? You've got cupcakes, cookies? Well, I don't have the cupcakes online yet. I am working out um, packaging and shipping. Mm -hmm. um, but definitely the cookies, uh, definitely the gluten-free. I have... Uh, regular and gluten-free cornbread. Mm -hmm. um, I also make the Mexican wedding cookies, which some people also call them snowball cookies. Okay, yeah. And I offer different nut options, and I even offer no nut options for people with allergies. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, during, like, I, I call it the Halloween season mm -hmm. and Thanksgiving and Christmas, I'll offer pumpkin spice, oh, yes. you know, items as well. And, um, yeah. And I also have rum balls. Rum balls, good. For the adults. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and those are very good. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're in Los Angeles in um, USA, and what's the scene like over here with the vegan, vegan scene? Oh, the vegan scene here is amazing. Uh, there's so many vegans. There's so many vegan restaurants. I, I can go anywhere, even, even to non-vegan restaurants, and still get, you know, still be able to have vegan options. Mm -hmm. It's really, I feel it's becoming more mainstream. Mm. People are really catching on, and I love it. Mm -hmm. And when did you become vegan? I became vegan about eight years ago, mm -hmm. and I remember going to an animal, a farm animal sanctuary, mm -hmm. and deciding I was vegetarian for a year before that, and I decided, okay, I can't do dairy anymore. Not, mm -hmm. not when they suffer like that. Yeah. You know, that was the whole reason why I became vegetarian is I didn't want to partake in the animal suffering. Mm -hmm. They also believe that, you know, if you eat something that was murdered and suffered, mm -hmm. you're putting that bad energy in your body as Definitely. well. Yeah. And I didn't want to. I didn't want any part of that. Mm -hmm. And then, during the years when I started um, getting more and more into nutrition mm -hmm. and studying these things, 
as well as becoming a nurse, mm -hmm. I noticed the health benefits mm. are amazing. Definitely. You know? And a lot of people are learning about those health benefits at the moment, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. And a lot of people are switching to veganism because of the health mm. benefits. And to me, I was like, whatever whatever prompts you to turn vegan, that's mm. great. Yeah, exactly. Same with me. I don't care why someone becomes vegan as long as they As do. long as they do, right. <laughs> and as long as they stick with it. Right, right. <laughs> and I'm um, talking about other reasons for veganism. Um, you, you also do a lot of rescue with animals. I do. So what sort of animals have you rescued? I've rescued dogs, cats, um, hi Shiraz. Um, I, I've helped rescue um, rabbits, mm -hmm. and I even helped rescue tarantulas. Oh wow! And I have two of my own, mm -hmm. and one of them is a rescue. Cool. And um, so, where do you rescue a tarantula from? Um, actually, it was someone who bought it from a pet store, and the yeah, it was a teenager. The mm -hmm. mom d freaked out. Yeah. Didn't want it. She was gonna just let it go, and was like, no, 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 we'll take mm -hmm. it. Wow, well, cool. Yeah. And um, so you rehomed all the other animals? I did. Yeah. And of course, I have foster failures myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all my dogs, um, all but one is a foster failure. Because mm -hmm. I decided I wanted one dog, and it was Victor, and he's the one that started it all. Yeah. So after I got Victor, I was like, oh, I think I want another dog. <laughs> and then I was like, well, I'll foster. And then I fell in love, mm -hmm. and I ended up keeping him. Happens a lot, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. mm. It's a good way to get a get mm. an animal, save a life. So tell me what your favorite of the things you make is. The chocolate chip cookies, mm -hmm. um, and I actually do like my gluten-free cupcakes. They're they're very moist, mm -hmm. and uh, you know I was able to fool people at work as well. Mm, good. And um, if you're in LA and you wanted to start a business like this, how hard is it? What's the process that you've gone through for your business? Well, you have to um, if you're in LA County or whatever county you're in, you have to contact the health department, mm -hmm. and you have to. Um, fill out an application for a license yep. so you can get a cottage food law license mm -hmm. um, which means you can make which means legally or, yeah. you can make things in your own kitchen mm -hmm. um, there are requirements there are certain restrictions mm -hmm. and of course you know being vegan I don't deal with dairy or meat yeah. so it's much easier yeah. um, because there's no spoilage mm -hmm. um, and then you know getting your DBA and What's that sound doing business as, mm -hmm. so you can get your name out there, mm -hmm. and then legally you can get a bank account with your business mm -hmm. name. Cool. And then you get a resale license, so I mean, it is a process, mm -hmm. it can be expensive, mm -hmm. but it's well worth it, Yeah. and you're legal. Yeah, exactly. And so, have you had any really big customers, or anyone buy things from you? Yes, I'm, I'm starting to get into the catering for movie sets, mm -hmm. and That's I'm, I'm doing, yes, it is, and I'm doing a, a big job tomorrow, so mm -hmm. I'm very excited about mm -hmm. it. And who would be the person you'd love to order your stuff from, who you would like to order from you, like your favorite movie star or actor or singer or anything like that? I'm, I'm good. I'm good with anyone, really. <laughs> I mean, I'm... I'm, I'm big on Tom Hiddleston right now. Mm -hmm. I don't know who that is. <laughs> he that? plays Loki <laughs> yeah. in Thor and the Avengers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, Have to Google him. I would yeah. really love if he would order. <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm Alicia Silverstone, mm -hmm. obviously, yeah. Natalie Portman, Anne Hathaway, mm -hmm. and Olivia Wilde, of course, yeah. you know, my favorite vegan actresses. Cool. Yeah, good, good luck. Yeah, I hope they order you. from you soon. I if, hope they so too. if they haven't already. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and um, could you tell us um, a, a good, like something inspiring for people that would like to have a bakery like yours or a business like yours? It takes a little bit to get going, and to me, it's like you have to get through all the no's in order to get through the yes. And once you're okay with the no's, the yeses start coming. Mm -hmm. And you just you have to get out of your own way mm -hmm. because for the longest time I was afraid and mm -hmm. once you put fear and doubt aside and you decide that I, I don't care what other people think mm -hmm. this is my passion this mm -hmm. is what I love I want to help people I want to inspire I want to you know put good food out there that mm -hmm. people can enjoy yep. it becomes easy everything else doesn't matter it just falls into place yeah and and I I it took me a long time to get there, mm. but I think I'm finally there. It's still a day-by-day -day process, but, you know, I'm, this is my main focus right now is this bake shop. Yeah, cool. And, and making it successful, and this is, mm -hmm. this is my dream.
Good. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. And um, if you'd like to buy some of Michelle's products, see her Etsy store, see her website, and thank you for taking the time out to speak to us. And thank you see, so much. No problem. See vivalavegan.net for more interviews with inspiring vegans.